And as the moon starts its trajectory toward its inevitable impact, things start to happen. A huge series of tsunamis. The scene where the hotel is obliterated by the wave. We'd shot there a couple of weeks earlier for a different portion of the film where it was completely dry and it felt like any hotel. And then we arrived on set in the afternoon to film the scenes where the water had really taken hold. And we just couldn't believe it. They waterproofed the exterior of the set and they were just pouring gallons and gallons of water in. That was a quite large steel tower with two dump tanks on it. And we had 7,000 gallons of water coming down onto a ramp right into the lobby of the hotel. And the big challenge was to manage the weight of all this water, get it in the right place so we could shoot the escape from that tsunami wave. Casey, what are you doing? It comes through with such a force. So those dump tanks really gave that scene a legitimate peril especially for John Bradley's character. I had to look up and see a wave coming towards me. If you got to look up and see gallons of water come thundering down a ramp and knowing that you're going to get it in the face any second. Everybody upstairs, let's go, 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 go! As safe as you Everybody. know you are makes your heart beat a little bit quicker. Hang on! It works best when there's something in the back of your mind that thinks, this could go a bit wrong here. I was so impressed with John Bradley because we pounded John with wave after wave, and he was just a trooper in this uh, water tank. 